In this short tutorial, we'll show you how to create breakout groups using Blackboard Collaborate. As a part of a session, you might want to divide participants into small groups for discussion or other group activities. It's easy to divide participants into breakout groups using Blackboard Collaborate. And when participants are in a breakout groups, they can only receive audio and video from other participants in the same breakout groups. To get started, open the Collaborate panel by going to the lower right hand corner of your screen and click on the purple button with the double arrow on it. The next step once the Collaborate panel opens is, is to click on the Share Content area, which is here. And then you will be presented with the option to go to the Breakout Groups. Select here. When the Breakout Groups panel opens, participants will still be in the main room and there will only be two Breakout Groups ready by default. You should open the drop-down menu in the Assign Groups and choose the option that best suits your needs. If you choose Custom Assignment, you will choose which participants will go into which breakout groups. If you choose Random Assign, participants will go into groups randomly without you choosing. There is also an option box below the drop-down menu that you can check if you want participants to be able to switch groups. If you do not want to, them to be able to switch groups, do not click on this box. If you choose to go with the first option, a custom assignment, You can click on the three dots next and on the right of the name of the participant and choose the breakout uh, groups that you want them to, to be in. So, for instance, the student one, I can choose group one. Student three, I can choose group two. The other option is to select the student name and basically drag it to the group that you want them to be. So, for instance, I will wait until the color is purple. That would mean that it's ready to be dropped. And then I'll take maybe student 6 and drag it to group 2. In addition, I can have the options on a custom assignment. When I'm under custom assignment uh, breakout group session settings, I can also create additional groups by clicking on the plus sign. So now I have group 3 where I can maybe bring uh, student 2. I can also delete uh, the groups at any given time just by kind of hovering over and then select the little trash icon. If I choose to go with the randomized settings, here it is, I go to random assign, then I would actually, I also have in the random assign setting, I have the option to include the moderator, which is, which is me at this moment, uh, uh, as a part of the um, groups. If I do not want to be part of the groups, I have to uncheck this option. So by right now, we are actually, uh, a randomized option gives us a two groups because we have five participants. So it tells us in group one, we have three attendees and in uh, the second group, we have two attendees. I also have the option to rename the, the groups. So if I just decide this to maybe to call this, for instance, team one, I can just select that. And then I can rename uh, group two with uh, team two, for instance. If you want them, you can rename them as whatever name suits your um, class. So once I assign my, uh, my students into groups and I'm ready, I can actually start the breakout group session. So uh, currently I'm in the main room and I have two teams, one team of three members and another team of two members. So if I click on start, Here it is. I'm in the main room and I have two teams. One Team 1 is uh, with three students and Team 2 is with uh, two students. So I can join them by selecting here. You see this little option here. It gives me an option to basically join Team 1 if I click on the little arrow. So I'm being moved to Team 1 where I can maybe check in how students are doing. Here it is. And then I can go back and check to see how Team 2 is doing. So I can click here. this. So when the uh, when I'm ready, I want to bring the, all the participants back, break, uh, back to the main room. Here it is, breakout groups. And here if I click on the little uh, square, I have the option to stand the breakout groups. So I can click on that. All 
all participants will be back into the main room. So this is how you go about setting up your uh, Blackboard um, collaborate session breakout groups. Something to keep in mind is always use the Chrome browser. This is the recommended browser. Uh, uh, please advise your students to do the same thing so they don't run into technical issue. Uh, hopefully this is helpful and please contact us if you have any follow-up questions.